How to build a sales funnel. A lot of people get confused between what a sales funnel really is. Um, and so I want to start out by saying that a sales funnel is no different if you hear the term uh, building a candidate list. It's how you approach these people and building a list of people that you're going to contact that makes the difference. In a sales funnel, it's simply the fact that you're going to be talking about your warm market, your local market, and digital market. And you may have several ways. You may be an internet marketer and you may be putting out you know, Facebook ads and um, ads on Bing and Google. So all there's a lot of ways to really uh, get in contact with people. So today we're going to talk about um, a few of those ways to give you an idea that you can get started in this business very quickly, very easy. If you haven't really read through your Fast and Furious training, now's a good time. I'm going to tell you, put this on hold, go through Fast and Furious, uh, and then come back to this. This is just a little, um, little closer look at how to do this, okay? All right, so let's go to the next slide. Your warm market is basically made up of your friends and family. And that's, again, that's another way to add to your sales funnel. Your local market are meetup groups. Those are people that are going to meet at chamber meetings, BNI meetings, successful thinkers, go ramp up. There's just, you know, legate, legate. There's just, a, I'm sorry, let tip. There's just a lot of meetup groups that you can join. And it's a great way to build your business, by the way. Digital market is how you're going to build it online. You know, get as many names as you can in your sales funnel as, as fast as you can. And uh, you must have a constant flow of people coming in that you can contact. So you got to keep meeting people for you to have people to call. And if you don't meet people or have these funnels set up for you, then you're going to run out of names. And it's going to be difficult for you to continue to make 5, 10, 15 calls a day, whatever your plan is. All right. Sharing is not selling. It's really true. Today, it's more about sharing an emotional story and getting people to relate and connect with you than it is about pounding them on. You got the best opportunity, the comp plan, and the best products in the world. Seriously, everybody believes that. The truth of it is people get in the business because of you, your energy, and your excitement. That's what gets their attention more than anything else. All right, so the warm market, again, is made up of friends and family. But did you know that the Direct Selling Association reports at 60%? 66% of all signups come through your circle of influence. Okay, friends do what friends do. So I know what you're thinking. You get in and you say, hey, coach, God, I burned through my warm market. I talked to all these people. I dragged them through five, six different MLMs. So what's new? Who has it? I've done the same thing. Okay, so uh, let me just tell you something. Your approach is to those people, what you say and how you say it's going to make the difference between they listen to you or not. So again, um, Work on your um, your introduction, work on your presentation, and again, write your emotional story and, and connect from your heart and share your experiences. I promise you, you're going to be fine, okay? War market tips. Build a list. Now, here's the tough part. Nobody wants to build this list. Every I have been in sales training classes where I have taught in every... Oh my gosh, the real estate industry, the mortgage industry. I've had classes at the standing room only. And tell you the truth, uh, the people that make the list are the ones that get ahead. I don't know anybody who's ever built this business that's made $10,000 a month or more that has not started by building a list. Now, I know a lot of people are making $10,000, but I promise you they haven't built a list, okay? Make a list of everyone you know without judging. Start with 100 names. Classmates.com is a great way to start if you're just absolutely out of names, okay? Uh, plus the alumni on LinkedIn is another great way that you can connect with people. You can use our memory jogger and just start calling, calling them. Hey, I need a huge personal favor. You know, I got into a new business. I really want you to take a look at this. Um, here's You can help me out. And uh, as a friend, would you do this for me? I promise you, if you take that approach, it's going to be easier than you think. Okay? Building your warm market. The ultimate memory jogger. And I work a lot with Eric Worre stuff, MLM Pro. If you haven't read his book, it's a great book to read if you're just getting in the industry. So go ahead and uh, write this down. The ultimate memory jogger. Here's the... You can actually copy this right here, networkmarketingpro.com, unlimited memory jogger PDF file, and download that, and just follow it. It's so easy. Make your list of your first 100 people to start. You know, again, this is not inviting them to a, a party or a blast party. This is just 100 names to start, and the more people you put on that, that list, then uh, I promise you, uh, the more people you add to that list daily, weekly, monthly, the more that list grows, the stronger your business will be, okay? 
building in your local market, create meaningful relationships. Again, networking is one of the coolest ways to build your business. I have built businesses very big, going to networking groups. So local market networking at your meetup groups, such as Successful Thinkers, Go Ramp Up, The Tip, all of those are great, great places to build. So check them out in your community. I promise you, if you just Google meetups in your area, you know, I, you know some people might have to drive 20, 30 miles to get to them. But I promise you, if you get involved with those you know, community meetings um, in the community, you're going to do very well. Okay, Social clubs is another place that you can find it. Uh, seminars in your area. You know, a lot of people go to what I call, um, prof I mean, go to uh, what we call success seminars, personal growth seminars. These are all good places to learn and to meet people. So you can meet people wherever ever you go. In the old days, we used to learn how to meet people by standing in Starbucks, I promise you. I used to hang out at Starbucks um, a lot during the week. And I sponsored a lot of people, believe it or not. Uh, hanging out at Starbucks, just learning to start conversations and complimenting people. It was so easy. I had a lot of fun at it. So, okay. No. The only difference today is you do it online. All right. Digital market, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google Plus, Pinterest, and other platforms. My favorite, I'll be honest with you, is LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter. I think Facebook is the number one. For me, it's, it's LinkedIn. I'm an expert in LinkedIn, but I am doing a whole series as we you know, on uh, Facebook, how to create a profile page and how to create a business page that you can find in the university. So there's nothing lacking. Everything you need to know about building a successful business, either online or offline, it's all there. It's still about community. It's still about relationships. It's still about connecting. Connect with 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 people a day. It's fun. We teach you how to do that in the university. It's not hard at all. It doesn't take a lot of time, okay? Because I know most people are thinking, oh my gosh, I just don't have the time. Well, you know, if you're stuck in that circle where you don't have time, what's your life going to be five years from now? All you have to do is look back five years and find out, man, you've been stuck on the same boat and it's been tied to the dock and you ain't going nowhere anyway. So I just got to be honest with you. You know, you got to change your thinking and your outlook and your attitude to really get things uh, going in the right direction or make changes in your life that help you going in the right direction. So... Okay, just text them and, uh, hey, what does it look like to get on your calendar? That's pretty easy. You know, you might want to leave a fashion list. I have something really important to talk to you about. Call me as soon as possible. Just short stuff like that. Don't uh, leave an hour, you know, um, text or an hour voicemail uh, on the phone. That never works. You know, hey, I got something really important I need to talk to you about. Well, how soon can you call me? I promise you, you know, they're going to call you if you don't tell them anything else. Because curiosity, curiosity always kills the cat here. Okay. Build an online community by connecting with people on a daily basis. That's all it is. So again, building your sales funnel. If, you, if you're in social media, that's wonderful. That's a great way. We call it ARC, Awareness, Relationship Building, and Conversation. It's very simple, the ARC. Okay? Very simple platform. This is what I do. Relationship building. Okay? Awareness. Okay? Get connected. Build a conversation. Connect with people. Once you build your leads list, it's time to share your opportunity. As you contact your leads, your sales funnel grows and grows and grows. From your sales funnel will come your new customers and distributors. Grow your sales funnel by making direct contact and building relationships and know, like, and trust. I promise you, loyalty referrals, members, okay, renewals, all come of, through relationship. This is a relationship marketing. You can't get around it. There's nothing you can do about it. It's a relationship market, okay? Okay, set some goals and post your activities. Now, this is the best way you can do this. I was taught early on in, in the game that what can be measured can be improved. And here's one of the uh, evidences that I have. By setting goals and tracking your progress, you can easily improve your skills. Share your upline. Share with your upline what difficulties you may be facing when you're calling people. You can always get help. That's the idea of working with your upline, your active upline. As you make your calls, you will grow in the skills required to be successful. Now, there's a learning curve and a training curve for everybody that gets in the business. Now, the people with the better skill sets, will they move ahead? Absolutely, they will. So it is an investment of your time and your energy to master what it takes. The skill sets, presentation skills, phone skills, speaking skills, they're very important. Organization skills, they're all important here. Don't think they're not. Okay, so look at your activities. Well, how many, how many calls am I going to make in the warm market? Cold market, if you want to do cold calling, I don't. But if you want to, that's fine. There's too many other ways to do it. Coffee shops, meetups, Google Hangouts, Skype calls. You know, I just made up a point system here where you can award yourself points. 
and you make goals, you know, set weekly goals. And then every time that you, you know, you go ahead and you, the number of activities that you do during the week from Monday through Sunday, I, I think you should take Saturday and Sunday off, to be honest with you. I only like working five days a week. I know some people tell you you got to work, you know, give up two years worth of vacations. I heard all of that when I got in the industry 30 years ago. I tell you, I didn't like any of it, okay? I want to go on my vacations. I'm sorry. Okay, so Monday through Friday, so Monday through Friday, look, if you make 10 warm calls or, you know, and you award yourself uh, five points, well, that's 250 points that you're going to make for making those calls. It's pretty cool. So at the end of the day, you can look at yourself and, and award yourself and find out, well, how do you rate with your efficiencies? Well, if you're a rock star, you made 1,000 points. You're a rock star. Superstar, 750 points. Olympian, 500 points. Champion, 250 points. So how do you rank Rank that week? So you can rate yourself. Hey, I was a rock star, man. I killed it. I get over 1,175 points. Well, here's what I did on social media, LinkedIn, Twitter. Here's my follow-up. You know, here's the tools, the overview videos, the blast line calls, three-way calls. You know, my business growth. Okay, from a team vision call, Thursday night calls, attending live events, team training events, all of that's there. You know, how many people did I sponsor? How many people got into my team? How many, what were my volume goals? All of those are very important when you're really looking at what I call your ADAs, which are actual daily activities. So these, uh, this planner and this system's available in the back office, it's a lot of fun. And you can use this in your teams and in a group of your people getting together have an accountability session that really works out really well. Here's what it looks like when it's expanded. Okay, so you can have fun with this. this. Is a system I created, and by the way, I had a team using this, and they exploded with this because why? Because it's competitive, it's fun. People are comparing it to each other. They're comparing notes, and I gotta promise you, the ones that do this um, and uh, run with a few of their friends, roll up their sleeves and follow a system like this, those are the ones that are gonna get structure, a little focused, and have a little fun with this, okay? So ADD, so ADAs, actual daily activities. Pretty cool system I created, okay? Simple words of encouragement. As you continually build your list, you'll never run out of people to call. That's all it really is. You gotta continually add to your list of people to call, you know, however you're doing it. If you're running Facebook ads, and that's one of your funnels. If you're doing uh, social media connections, that's one of your funnels. So however you create your funnels is fine, but you got to create funnels, okay? If you're if you're going through your war market list and you're doing the memory jogger, that's one of your funnels. As you make your calls, the fear of rejection, listen to this, dissipates, and the calls actually become fun. Today, I love the calls. When I first got in, I hated them. I was scared of them. I walked around the house. I took big breaths. After I finished a call, I said, geez, I slapped myself with a little cold water on my face. I said, why, gosh, that was so dumb. So I went through everything, but I just kept at it and kept at it, and I got very smooth at it. Okay, so that, that skill set developed, and it grew as I kept measuring my effectiveness. Why did I say that? Why did I do this? I even recorded some of my conversations, so I got better at it. I read every book out there, how to start conversations, how to win friends, power and confidence in dealing with people. Folks, I went through it, man. I just wanted to master that, that art of inviting people to look at my opportunity. Remember, if you take four-letter word cell out of your vocabulary and replace it with a word share. I promise you that's going to be more. So share your heart. People will actually thank you. Okay, so this is Coach Gary signing.